Okay, folks, I think I'm on maybe one of the most challenging ones I've ever done, uh, purely because of the structure of this house. This is a super nice, super high-end neighborhood. So nice that when I went to go through the gate to come in, the security guard informed me that I was at the wrong gate because service contractors have to go through the other gate. And he turned me around, which actually was kind of funny. So he let me <laughs> come on through the gate and he said, oh yeah, just U-turn. And where I had a U-turn was the street I needed to turn on anyway. I thought, man, I ought to just run for it. But then I figured security guards would have chased me down in their golf cart and probably tried to detain me or some bullshit like that. So anyway, <clears throat> we got some bees flying around. You can see them up here occasionally in the video. Uh, and I'll have to get down on ground level to show you where we're at, but I'm actually standing on a lower portion of the roof. This house has like, I don't know, it's like 10 or 12 foot high ceilings downstairs, even in the garage. And this room here is actually a bonus room above the garage. So I went inside to open this window just so we could see out for some reference. But it's got this little kind of lower roof and then this upper roof projects over it and from what I can tell I can't get up there to see because I don't have enough ladders um, they're going in basically below this upper roof above this lower roof and now this roof has terracotta tiles and what I've seen happen before with terracotta is of course the bees are able to get into little little gaps like this where the flashing hangs over and I mean, that's not even a little gap, that's a huge gap. <laughs> and then they're able to get down inside the roof. So I hopped up here hoping I could get a better look, um, but I really can't, I can't see enough to get up any higher. Like I said, I, I can't, I've got my, my extension ladder set here, but I'll have to drag the extension ladder up here with me. And I'm really not comfortable setting the extension ladder on terracotta tiles to try to then get even higher up on the roof. So, I hate to say this, but we're just gonna have to go inside and cut the ceiling. Uh, I did at least relook. I was thinking I was gonna have to cut right inside this corner, but I don't think so. I think they're further over, so I'm gonna cut more near this little inside corner over here. Uh, let me take a few measurements while I'm up here just to kind of verify things, and then we'll get inside and see what we find. Okay, so now we're upstairs in the house. And again, I think I mentioned to you guys, this is probably the nicerest house I've ever been in. Um, so we're trying to take a little extra effort here to keep things clean. Put down this sheet of plastic, ran it up the walls just in case we drip any honey. Now, unfortunately, this is the window outside I was talking about that I had opened for reference. They're going in right above it somewhere. And there's a surround sound speaker. So I think where they're going in is further over here. I'm gonna cut a little access hole here and just see what we see. Can't get up in that attic. It's super flat, super low, and it's all expanded foam. So there's no way to get up in that attic. And from the outside, the only way to get to this area would be to go through the terracotta shingles. And that's also not a good idea. <laughs> so going through the drywall should be our best bet here. Let's uh, get things fired up, cut a few access holes and see what we find. Okay folks, definitely one for the odd books, probably the oddest. So I'm up here in the attic space above this bonus room and this is the only way to get into this space. It appears to have its own self-contained HVAC unit. There's no way to go up the attic <coughs> ladder in the house to actually get up here. So I widened my access hole to get up here. I crawled through that hole to get up here. Well, here's the bees. And if you guys listen real close, you can hear them chewing the insulation. They've chewed all of that. Anywhere that it's white, they've chewed it. So I think they've been here for a while and have expanded their way into this cavity. The problem is we've got to figure out how to remove enough of this expanding foam to get to them through that cavity. So this outer wall where that is vertical here and then goes to sloping, that's where that outer lower soffit overhangs and then this these roof joists here and here that are covered in foam, that's where that upper roof comes down. So it looks like they're in the upper roof portion, I believe. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna have to start ripping some foam out of here and see what we find as far as how we can start to expose the colony around this structure. So definitely an interesting one, definitely uh, one for the books. All right, I'll try to talk over the vacuum. Hopefully it's not too loud since I'm up here in the attic and it's down there, but look at what we found. 
Lots of bees. Actually not as near as big of a hive as I thought it would be. Uh, definitely this year's hive. Um, but I'll try to explain it to you guys. What, what has, This is quite the space to be in. They are basically between roof decks. So this is where I opened up first. And the way the combs are running, I was like, well, there's, you know, I might not be able to reach all those the way they're going in at that angle. They're going deeper into the space, right? Now, I couldn't cut. That's a main cross brace right there. I can't cut that. And I could see that little bit of green OSB. So I knew that tearing out the insulation on the other side of that uh, main joist would be, uh, you know, would be kind of futile because I would just run into OSB. But I went ahead and did it. See, when you look at the combs on this end, it looks like they're real tall. It looks like they're like a foot tall. And that was throwing me off. But what actually is going on is this roof up here is sloping down and away from us. And then this roof down here is sloping down and to the left. <clears throat> so it's, it's really hard to tell that from the outside because it's very flat angles. So let me crawl around here and I'll show you. So I finally poked the saws all through to cut this lower roof decking and found the bulk of the combs. But see that upper decking right there, again, it's, it's sloping down and to the right, so it basically pinches out right here on top of this joist. If I try to saw through the OSB over here, I just run right smack into the bottom of this OSB over here. I haven't tried it, I don't need to. Looking at it, you can tell us what's going to happen. So I think this is actually the whole extent of the hive right here. Looking at that other end where we were just at, it looks like it would be a lot, a lot bigger. But I think it's just because of how all those roof lines are sloping, it's kind of misleading. So I've sent the father-in-law down to go after some buckets and we'll start vacuuming up more of these bees and cutting combs. All right, so we finished the cutout. You can see here where all the combs were at. But what I wanted to show you guys, it kind of maybe we're too late now, but I started spraying repellent and I was gonna show you all the bees just running out the entrance hole over there. So you can see a little bit of daylight coming through. I'm not sure if it's just under a loose piece of flashing or what, because I never got up on the roof to look, but. The bees are dumping out through that hole. There was a big clump of bees all back in here behind the last comb. And see, there's a lot of them trying to run down over there. Like maybe they're chasing a queen off into that hole. But I've got all the combs out and I've vacuumed up the majority of the bees. So I'm not real worried about them rebuilding in this space. I don't think it's a good space for them anyway. This was really, really an oddity that they found this little hole that they did. And they had started chewing the insulation to make the space bigger. So I think we'll get them run out of here with repellent and uh, if the homeowner gets that hole sealed up, they won't have any problems in the future. All right, well, I reckon that's that for that one. Uh, not even gonna lie, I did not see the queen. I really didn't look for her. This is such a complicated space. Uh, once I started cutting combs, I just started backing bees. They, there was the usual big cluster of bees back here on this back <laughs> uh, two by. Well, I got behind the comb and I just grabbed the hose, sucked them up as fast as I could before they could run anywhere oh. else. Sorry about that, through my phone. Um, but I've been spraying repellent gently, running them out. And um, you can see now, pushed them all back out their entrance. There's some little daylight coming in there. I don't know what that is. Loose piece of flashing probably. Um, so I pushed them all out the entrance. I'm going to try to see if I can find a way to get on the roof and see if there's not a big ball of them out there on the roof. I don't expect too much. I really don't expect the queen. But I figure I'll just check up there if I can. But for right now said it's all out this is everything that was this was the primary of the nest right in here we got all that cut out and scraped out and uh, i'll soak it all down with propellant real good here and then we'll start picking up tools all right well that looks pretty uh trash-tastic but y'all know that's my style but uh, <clears throat> we just went ahead and taped some plastic up over that hole just because we had it uh, and that'll be able to stop any more bees because they're still trying to come in through that hole in the drywall a little bit but that should stop them from coming into the room anyway. They're trying to get a drywall guy here this afternoon, um, if not tomorrow. So that'll at least keep more and more of them from, you know, I sprayed everything with repellent and I ran everything out upstairs, but there's still the random ones that are crawling around in the attic looking for a way out. So those are the ones that are flying in here. You can, you can kind of hear them. Yeah, you hear them buzzing in the windows occasionally. But anyway, I just figured we'd take that off just to help seal it up a little bit until they can get a drywall guy. But other than that, we're done. We've picked up and rolled up all of our plastic that we had here. There's a little piece of tape. And um, we'll get the ladder brought downstairs and be out of here. <laughs>